This film from the 1970s presents footage of a still under construction World Trade Center. AT&T's bell system had an important part in the construction, connecting the hundreds of businesses within the buildings to the rest of the world. AT&T's Western Electric Unit installed a then state-of-the-art electronic switching system which had a maximum carrying capacity of 130,000 lines. Halfway through the film, you see Bell System workers installing the system, one wire and one connection at a time, in four mainframes in vaults many floors below street level. When the towers came down, this system remarkably remained intact, but it was no longer connected to the rest of the world. The trunk lines that ran beneath the street were severed in the disaster, and Lower Manhattan lost 300,000 voice lines, 3.6 million data lines, and 10 cell phone towers. It was but a small part of the overall tragedy. In the aftermath of the event, service was restored to Wall Street within one week, but the vaults would be replaced by the World Trade Center Memorial Fountain. Now, the twins. It's the country's biggest port and commerce built it. More than $6 billion a year of American income flows just from the ocean-borne cargo of the Port of New York. And international commerce also inspired the big city's biggest landmark, the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center. Before a skyscraper goes up, it's got to go down. For the World Trade Center, they first dug out 14 acres of lower Manhattan and carried it over to the Hudson River, creating six brand new blocks of real estate. Back in 1969, with the steel underway and the lower floors taking shape, the skeleton of the North Tower slowly started up. At the peak, 5,000 workers were putting together a building project like no other in size, complexity, and concept. When they finally finished, there was going to be a lot more here than a quarter million tons of steel and the tallest twin skyscrapers in a city of skyscrapers. Each of the twin towers was going to soar 110 stories. The plan of the builders was to bring together here more than 400 firms engaged in world trade, as well as related government agencies. In designing and building such a world trade headquarters, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey was seeking to expand the flow of our overseas commerce. A key element in the total project would be rapid and reliable communications. We began installing the Trade Center's communications before the South Tower topped out. Ultimately, it was going to take six big electronic switching systems and a long-distance center, four floors of telephone equipment and services. A lot of us Western Electric installers would be working on this job putting in thousands of switching frames, transmission equipment, and other apparatus we make for the Bell system. When the entire communications complex planned by the engineers is eventually completed, we will have run about 600 miles of cable, made about three million connections, and delivered the whole thing to New York Telephone, working like a supercomputer. Wire by wire, a connection at a time, it was all coming together. The system was growing right along with the World Trade Center in both dimension and scope. Now we were testing out the telephone system which would tie the people of the World Trade Center to the world of commerce. Eventually, it would have 100,000 main lines, serving also the center's hotel and a new apartment city on the man-made land nearby. 
the World Trade Center, a working landmark for building international commerce and perhaps better understanding among people. Gospodin Krasnopolski, kto wam dał marszruty i koordynaty od Moskwy? Bitte senden Sie die Dokumente an unsere World Trade Center Adresse in New York. Dankeschön. If you go out with me to New York, what they know not is being shown. Quando vi è un qui, Mario, il nostro ufficio situato in the World Trade Center. Se New York ti telefoni, je voudrais acheter des vins. On the 24th of the month, it is. The World Trade Center is our New York address.